Hello and welcome to Infinity. Teal and orange, you see it absolutely everywhere. It's a color toning that is used all over the place. If you um, go to Google and just look, search on teal and orange and look at the images, you'll get the idea of what it is. You get this teal, which is bluish thing, and the orange, which is orange. Uh, and there's just lots and lots and lots of it. Look, even the Mona Lisa has been done. So it's worth knowing about, and it does have value. In fact, you, you see it. Here's an example. This is Star Trek Discovery. The whole filming of this uses teal and orange. Look at this, you know, teal, and, you know, that's a classic picture. Sometimes lots of orange, sometimes lots of teal. But the picture, you know, it, it's, it's throughout and you see this a lot, you know, even in the posters and so on. So let's have a look at uh, it here. Here we've got the colour wheel. Um, we've got the primary colours and the secondary ones and the ones in between. And this is where it starts. And teal and orange are here. And they're opposite there. Why teal and orange? Um, primarily because they appear a lot. You can take orange and you can apply it to skin in particular, but in other things it's sand and sunlight and, and so on. And it works just fine. It works on all types of skin. Bit of orange looks just fine. Opposite it, so you've got a complementary colour in the colour harmonies is teal or asia and this is again where do you see that in the sky apart from anywhere else but also in, in other things in water and so on you don't get skies which are really blue or not much in the way of cyan you get a lot of skies which is, are teal so these are natural colors but they're also orange is warm teal is cool so you got warm cool and so on so Let's have a look at this, how you do it. So here is a grey square. And let's bring up the colour changer here. And when you've got all things up or down, you've got primary colours and so on. So one up is a primary colour. Two up is a secondary colour like yellow. But a tertiary colour, which are these other ones in between, is one up and one in the middle. An orange is in the middle here so it's red all the way up blue all the way down and green in the middle yep so let's do the same for teal and if you start from gray which is in the middle just leave that where it is this is unexpectedly um, or surprisingly or not surprisingly blue all the way up and red all the way down and that's teal so this is important when you are doing colour grading and things like that, you're going to want for teal to be able to push red down. You want to keep green in the middle and blue up. Because even if you move these about the place, it's still pretty tealish. Yeah, if you move that, if you move this, yeah, it's not bad. It's best, you know, best sort of like this, but sometimes when you're just pushing colours. Because what typically orange and teal toning is doing, it's taking reds or this area here and pushing them towards orange and taking blues down here and pushing them towards teal as much as you can in the picture whilst it still looks coherent. So just here's a typical kind of picture you might pick and usually it's one in which there is some kind of basis for the orange and teal. In other words, you've got blues or reds and so on in here. This is a red stripe beer crate. And you've got blues in here, you've got some cyanish here and a darker blue here. So you can do things with it. Um, if you just make the um, shadows blue and you know, tight teal and the highlights orange like this, um, yeah, this is not really a colour tone picture. It's, it's sort of black and white, but in teal and orange and it doesn't work really. But this is more like it. So this is doing a bit of split toning. So here you've pushed these things a bit more towards orange and so on. You can do stronger effects like this. You can use curves. Um, the most powerful tool is the channel mixer. 
and we're going to look in detail about how you can use that. Can you can very much do that pushing things about the place, uh, and then you can with that you can turn it down if it's looking a bit too strong, and you can play extra games like getting more of the orange into the the you know, things like the sand here and and the teal into the shadows whilst keeping it looking reasonable. Okay, there we go, teal and orange. And we're going to go into detail in more videos on how to do these things. Thank you very much for watching.